Hello and welcome to Perivarsvisky Flur. Today I'm going to tie the serve candy adhesive style with the improved method. Uh, I'm going to change a little bit of my materials and uh, threads for this and uh, I'm going to show you what I mean is better. Okay, I put the hook in the vise and I start by attaching my thread which is mono point 0.1 this time 0 0.1 millimeter and I wind back to the hook band and I get my it's a bit short this piece but uh, well let's see if I can have some longer I got one here take my scissor snip off piece hopefully this is long enough and attach it to my hook like this take and just clean up a little bit so go forwards and wind this braid forwards to where my thread stopped like there um, and so snip off the remains and now I take my white bucktail snip of a piece find piece of this bucktail that is, is adequate like that and strip out the shortest fibers so there come some color ones in here which I try to pick it out so that's about right and turn this wise around like this snip off the stumps and attach it like this and just distribute it on the hook so and turn the wise around again I'll find my top part it's gonna be all of it like the last time find the longest some of the longest hairs that has a little crinkle on it like this one do the same as the underbody take out the shortest hairs and uh, like that snip out the stumps so you have an even like this and use your thumbnail just to push it down on the hook so you can just make it stay there so okay what's the difference now we might say now i first take my one hand and hold the hairs and i use my thread to just go back and forwards again see now i collected my hairs in the perfect manner and I take my lateral line like this and my goal is to make it stand on the side okay attach it to the side and like this and go down on the side with my thread and make the lateral line 
stay in perfect place and use the other snip of this waist and uh, attach it to the other side you can turn the waist around like this and go forwards again because this mono thread is going to become invisible when I coat it with glue and the adhesive tape like this go forwards and again like that snip this baby off so now it's time for me to just make a can make the thread stay there but I just take some more whip finish and snip the thread off because now it's time for me to putting on this <coughs> sorry about that this clear tape double sided but one large piece of this like this is too much so I have to split it and I cut out a little piece and I'm trying to just cut out a small piece of this again this is very sticky so don't give up the first run so it will stick to your scissors I'm sure but that's not so important so there you have it put the other piece on this shelf for another fly and you can if you're a tidy guy put off take off the top piece that's not sticky but it makes it easier to just attach it to the to the fly this way when I get this this is very it's a bit difficult because it sticks to my fingers but now you see now I got it peel it off you see this sticky part of this is very flexible it's almost like a rubber band but I start by attaching it like this snip off this long piece so get rid of it and use my rotation on the vise to make it go evenly so I don't have to change hands in every now and then so now you can and I will just snip this off like that see now this is sticky as hell so I just get rid of the remains uh, and see now there's a little piece here it can make it just go away and now I have my eyes and I take my bobbin no sorry my bodkin peel off couple of eyes and because this is very sticky the eyes will stay there until I get get them secured with my thread so I take the other one make sure they're about the same place on the fly on each side so it's looking good I eh? I think my camera is a little bit out of focus so 
wait a bit. Okay, I adjusted the camera a little bit. I think it's got better. Now you see the ice is on, and I'm gonna just attach my thread again for the last time. Snip off the remains of my thread with the stump, and carefully just go, let the thread go over the eye. like this and use the thread to get get uh, some lumps and bumps out of the way now I can just take my whip finish and snip it off make a whip finish and snip it off and voila there it goes now I take my trusted Gorilla Glue again and find my piece of paper like this start with the clean, sh clean sheets and I take my botkin like this I have my drying wheel ready. I put it on, but I take first the cap off. Make sure that no debris in this in this uh, bottle tube, and I can just take I take a squeeze out on my paper as well. And I take a little on my fly. I have something to start with. And to distribute this, I use the length of this botkin. I found this method a bit easier. Use the rotation of my vise to distribute it like this. Be sure not to get the get the glue on the back side of this fly uh, also against the back of the fly you see now I maybe maybe I didn't have to put some glue on this paper of mine but uh, I think that was well, a little too much, but the amount on the fly was perfect. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's finished. You can see the thread wraps, it's almost invisible. You can see the lateral line. You can see the eye is very good and it's very uh, solid making of this fly. Uh, when this uh, glue is cured, it becomes uh, hard, but some, somewhat also a bit uh, elastic. So it's very sturdy. I've used this glue for some years now, and I'm very, very happy with it. But it takes some hours to cure. But uh, if you have this drying wheel like I have, and uh, that's no big deal. You just have, uh, have the glue on like this. And it, uh, it don't shrink so much. It it becomes just about the size of this uh, head. It's looking very perfect. And I'm gonna try now to. Uh, and I, hope, <laughs> I, I think I I, sh I shall say that uh, I hope you all liked my video. Uh, this is uh, take two of this surf candy. Uh, tying style uh, I improved the method a little uh, I'm very happy with the um, improvement it is uh, much easier to be um, to make uh, make the fly look the way you want and uh, this uh, this tape is merely to make some bulk on this fly but uh, if you 
want to try just to use this without any uh, mono thread uh, you're so of course uh, free to do that but now it's time for me to put this uh, fly on the drying wheel so uh, I just uh, say goodbye to you all and tight lines bye bye mm -hmm.